Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. In today's video, we'll be showing you the difference between the N53 and 54 heads up close and personal and explaining to you just why it's such a worthwhile upgrade. Stay tuned and I'll tell you all about it. Now the stock N54 head was designed from the outset to be used with very small turbos and to generate peak torque from just 2000 RPM. You can see this clearly underneath the intake valve. There's a sizable choke and the lift where the short side radius should be. This is done to bias flow across the valve head to promote mixture tumble. The idea here being to speed up combustion and lower emissions. But this doesn't use the given valve area very effectively. This same basic port design, with minor alterations, was also used on the N20, N55 and S55 as well. Now we come to the N53 head, which was designed from the factory to make 90 horsepower per litre with peak power at 6600. Add headers in an N54 intake manifold and it'll hit 100 horsepower per litre, naturally aspirated, with peak power at 7250. The intake port is a proper high flowing design with no choke, an ideal port diameter ratio of 0.9, and a generous short side radius. Here is the M54 intake port again for comparison. As you can see here, both the intake and exhaust valve and port diameters are larger on the M53. These are the valve diameters, and these are the port diameters, respectively. I should also add that both combustion chambers are identical to within 1 or 2 cc, so compression ratio isn't affected much by the swap. The exhaust port also happens to be 20% larger in cross-section at 36 mm versus 33. Port center line is 8 mm lower though with respect to the deck. So new exhaust manifold flanges are needed, which I include with the kits we ship out. The benefit of all this is roughly 10% more power, 250 to 300 rpm quicker spool with no other changes to the car, and a sweeter, more musical exhaust note as a bonus. I will now show you comparison plots illustrating the difference in fuel scaler, ignition timing, and wastegate duty cycle tables. These were done on the same car, running the same fuel with the same tuner, and no other changes other than the cylinder head swap. First off, you can see the fuel scalers needed to be increased across the board from 7% at mid-range to 13% up top. This is obviously due to the engine now swallowing more air than before the head swap. This is also clear to see in the requested wastegate duty cycle tables. Over 10% more duty cycle was needed up top to build the same boost as before. Last but not least, you can see that we also dialed in 78 degrees more ignition advance on the same fuel. This is no doubt due to the M53 intake port design softening combustion, in addition to the larger exhaust port getting more heat out of the cylinder. We hope to keep doing more of these videos, so let me know what you think in the comment section below. Stay tuned and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.